Well, hello everyone, uh, my name is Saburo Takashima, I'm a chief instructor of Aikido Segeka in Tokyo. Today is the last uh, uh, session of the uh, Ikkajo, first control series, and the technique uh, uh, of uh, uh, attack from behind, Ushiro uh, uh, Waza techniques. And uh, these uh, techniques in Aikido, uh, unlike any other martial arts, have uh, uh, techniques against attack from behind. It sounds very um, different and strange, but uh, I think this is one of the very good part of Aikido that we do have a form and a method of training against attack from the behind. Okay, so this is a concept of Aikido, uh, you know, which I have explained through the, my video. Uh, I would like again to uh, uh, explain what is the concept of Aikido, generally speaking. Is uh, this uh, martial arts? You basically uh, lock or uh, lead your opponents into a situation where opponents cannot do anything. Uh, in this case, Aikido, you basically you stretch your partner so that he cannot do uh, much of the reaction from that position, and from that point on, you change the angle of, of the contact points to uh, make. You can even lose his balance, and, and, and that way you control uh, your opponents. I give a very simple example. This is a very rare, uh, rare uh, case, but for example, you lean towards this, uh, to the ship which is floating on the on the water from the deck. Okay, for example. Say this is a wall uh, side part of the, of the ship, and without you know any thoughts, you just basically lean on, it. and occasionally the ship start moving away, you know, uh, from, from from the port, and you basically cannot move your lower body, cannot uh, cannot make a step because over there there is a, a water down there, so you have to stay in the same position as of yet. Your contact point keep moving backwards, so. Uh, you basically stretch, okay? This is very, in usual case, it doesn't happen. For example, uh, this person is leaning to the, to the ship and ship start moving away. And there's a point where he cannot, you know, um, do anything and still, he still follow this contact point. This situation you create in Aikido. And from that, this position, what you do is you basically, uh, after you stretch, you change the contact point, the angle. This is how you uh, break it because balance this way or this way or this way. So after you stretch, if the angles change, your body sucked in. After stretch, if the, the contact points, you know, facing upwards, your body tends to go up. This is how you stretch your body. Okay, so uh, for example, when uh, shaman strike, which is a very common attack for Aikido, you basically stretch upwards and then bring him down. Okay, so techniques such as uh, target stretch up okay, and go down to, uh, to bring him down. Okay, and you can do the same thing with the, if someone's uh, uh, grabbing from behind, this way, okay, this way, you basically uh, stretch and down to bring it forward. Okay? So, uh, the idea uh, of the concept of Aikido is you basically stretch and then you move away from this position or changing the angle. Stretch your partner, stretch your partner, and change the angle, and you throw your partner. All the techniques is uh, uh, basically uh, made on this uh, concept. Okay, so uh, Ushiro uh, attack from behind. We have we have attack uh, grabbing Uke's collar from behind, grabbing a shoulder or grabbing shoulder and hands or elbow or bare head or choking, etc., etc. Okay, uh, and uh, for example, uh, Erimochi collar grab. This one you basically stretch your partner by applying Ateni and this way stretch. While he's stretching. You moving away from this position and then uh, break his balance in Okay. Uh, katamochi. katamochi, you stretch, you know, bring your partner upwards and you moving away from this position to break his balance in Kata. Yeah. 
They're both the same, right? So, uh, no, you uh, stretch your partner and moving your wife. And the, well, all, uh, all the rest is a uh, uh, variation. If you can grab and uh, choking, you basically stretch and this one stretch and moving forward. Then and cut down. Okay. So uh, uh, you know this uh, motion um, is 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 all common in all the rest of the Aikido techniques. And I want you to uh, understand the idea of compress or either stretch and changing the angle to break his balance off. Okay, you connect and stretch upwards, changing the angle of his grip by moving yourself away from this position and break the balance. Like so. Okay? And you can do the same things in a uh, more fluid, fluid motion. Like when it comes to stretching, and down, throw, okay? Or you can bring it down, so you can either throw or you can bring it down, and then do it. Okay. Uh, this, you know, this is a more fluid, uh, fluid motion, but solid motion is the same. If you can on this one, connect up and move away, or you can be, you know, shoulder grab, shoulder grab this one, connect and stretch and move. Ready? And Okay. Again, this one, you stretch upwards by applying and locking and move on. And it's done. Okay. And, uh, you know, ultimately when someone's, for example, you're dealing with the multiple attack, when someone's coming from behind, you basically, you know, lock him and you move away to stretch him because he's expecting me to be here, but all of a sudden if I move down, he'll, he'll be stretched. And you can do koshinage, or you can do just kokirage, like this one, boom, and I don't know, throw it away. Okay? I understand that everyone's practicing you know, ushiro ryote mochi and uh, kata mochi, ikajo and all, but um, I want you to uh, see the technique based on this concept makes uh, you know, uh, help you understand the uh, concept or the idea, idea of, uh, you know, Aikido much easier, okay? Mm. So, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to a Jiwaza, uh, it's a practice of developing your senses, uh, you know, the feeling, the uke from behind, okay? So before uke come and grab, you literally uh, move your body without watching and, you know, controlling, you know, uh, your partner, or you can do up and down again. Throw, okay? Stretch and throw. Okay? So it's a practice of developing your senses uh, uh, against your opponent's attack from behind. I see often Lee Shirakancho, uh, when he deals with the multiple attack, he's, uh, you know, without watching, he's, you know, when someone's attacking from behind, he's just going down and throwing over your, your head. or Either you just uh, you know changing the angle to throw that way, or even this one. When he comes, he just oh, you know attack uh, this one. Okay, so um, I think ultimately all the techniques of Aikido have this concept of uh, stretching your partner and changing the angle to take him down or either throw him. Okay, uh, stretch. In other words, either stretch. In other words, is compress. You know, lock him and changing the angle. To lead him to weak position and take down or you know, throw. So these are the uh, concept of uh, uh, Aikido which you be, has been using for all the techniques. Okay? In this series, I explain the techniques based on Ikajo. Ikajo is a technique where you take your partner down in his face by controlling his elbow and uh, shoulder through elbow, you know, through the contact by changing the angle, uh, point of connections, and then you control the elbow and bring this uh, shoulder down. Okay? So there's techniques. We did the same thing with the attack from behind. Uh, both, uh, both with grab, you know, and then you move away and take it down. Shoulder grab, same stretching, and move away, and down. 
elbow, push the uh, uh, foot over elbow to Azuka's grip, and then push to the side, stretch it, and move away. Same angle. Okay. Okay. Now we have uh, uh, stretching, and then move away. Okay. And okay. This is a casual. Of course, we have many different techniques against the uh, uh, attack from behind, and uh, I think. Uh, uh, the, one of the good things about Aikido, Aikido has a techniques against all sorts of different attacks and uh, particularly this attack from behind is very rare uh, in general martial arts but I think you know Aikido have this you know uh, technique against uh, attack from behind and uh, I think uh, a lot of people still having difficulties to understand what's the idea of uh, this attack the movement is very unique you know like this one or like this one or like this one but if you understand the concept, uh, you probably be able to enjoy the training more and uh, to be able to understand the whole picture a lot easier. Okay? Uh, today is a very challenging topic, but uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.